Welcome back travelers, it's Ladder Havoc and we are back playing some more Infinity Evolved. As you can see, I added some pretty little sparkly guys to my jetpack. It was really, really simple and I thought it was fun. I was having a whole lot of fun celebrating my brand new jetpack and so I did that. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. I kind of like the look of it. It's just like these two little jetpacks on the back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I did a couple things. I um, I blew out my walls here, honestly, just because I got tired of walking through these doors when there was no purpose to them. And I kind of took the wall up and kind of incorporated it into like one big open room with all these little rooms on the sides. And I created these armor stands. And I remember someone saying something about like some redstone and automatically, you know, if you had a redstone signal, it would automatically do stuff. Well, if you have a redstone signal and you shift right click, you can take all the armor on and off at one time. I think that's pretty, pretty nifty. But man, I'm so slow when I don't have my boots of the comet on. But it's okay, because we're gonna be doing a little bit of stuff in here first, and then we're gonna go and check out a couple other things today. I also created myself a little checklist so we know what we're gonna be doing for the day, and I figured this will help kind of keep me on track so I don't get, you know, sidetracked or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why are you, this keeps doing some weird stuff. I have these all set and then, it changes. So I made a whole bunch more of these capacitor banks just because I thought they'd be use really useful and a way to kind of store energy. And as you can see right now, I've currently got almost 50, oh, 54 and a half million RF stored up. And this basically, like you can see the in out, it's a really, really low number, right? And what I had done was I kind of, I put this number here so I can see it. And I've been setting my reactor core to like the absolute minimum. So I'm not wasting fuel. But if I wanted to, I could just, you know, max this thing out all the way to the top or whatever. And I think it's shift and alt to get the last ones. Yeah. And then all of a sudden that number will go up. Now, right now, my my freaking thing doesn't actually make a lot. It's like 203 and it's using some for like the applied energistics and stuff. So it doesn't get like really high or anything, but at least it lets me know I can set it to like a magic number to use the absolute minimal amount of fuel. So that's a good thing. And I think I was at 83, right? One, two, three. And that should put me back down into like the, the one, two, three mark. Yeah. So that's pretty good. It's like right at that in and out mark. Yep. Perfect. 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 And so basically I'm just not wasting fuel is all it's doing. It's using exactly what it needs and nothing extra. None of the extra power is going to waste and the few extra units that it does get, it goes in here. And if it ever goes under a little bit, like you can see it's bouncing around, then it goes into there. So yes. So anyways, I also moved a couple things. We'll, we'll get to this in a second. I moved my Tinker's Construct stuff in here. So now this is all up in here. And oh, I forgot all about that glass. I was making more Tinker's glass. I think it's just really cool. It's borderless. And I think it's like the closest to real glass in my opinion. It looks like borderless glass from Chisel, but I think it's even better. So I was uh, cooking up some sand in here to make myself some borderless glass. Yes, there we go. I can go throw this in here for right now. Now this unit over here, right? As I've told you before, I'm really trying to do new things in the mod, things that I've never done before and things you may have possibly never seen before. Maybe you've seen it a million times, I don't know. But I was looking around and I always see storage drawers, right? Like I've seen people use them before and I've used uh, some storage drawers before, but I didn't know the versatility of them. So when I was checking out the storage drawers, I came across this compacting drawer and I was like, huh, what's that all about? Compacting, I was thinking like, you know, Maybe if you put it in the drawer and put a whole bunch of ingots in, you would get, you know, blocks of iron. Or, you know, if you put a whole bunch, if you put in any material, it goes into this box and it represents it as all of them. So like, as you can see up in my tooltip, I have 114 blocks of iron plus one extra ingot and two extra nuggets. Now I can take it all out as ingots or I can take it all out as blocks or I could take it out as nuggets. Now, this actually gets to be really cool for one, like one specific reason for me, is it ties into the applied energistics with this guy right here. This guy is the drawer controller, and it could actually read the inventory of any one of these uh, storage drawers within a 12 block radius. So that's 12 in any direction, up, down, left, right, front, and back. So if we were to create like, you know, a whole bunch of these, and then have this guy in the middle, and if you can, 
I guess I can do this real quick. You'll see I actually have a storage bus back here that's actually connected to it. And so now when I go, if I do my sort by like item number of items, you'll see like <clears throat> it represents as all of it. So I have either 11,000 silver nuggets, right? Or I've got 1,314 ingots, or I've got, however, um, 120, 146 blocks. I have any of those varieties. Now, in the way of crafting, that's really nice because I don't have to break ingots into, you know, nuggets or blocks into ingots or whatever. It represents them as all of them. So it's deceiving because I don't have 11,000 and 1,300 and 146. I have any of those concepts, I, I guess is the best way to say it. So I think these guys are pretty freaking cool. Yes. But... But today, what we're going to be doing is a little bit of fun stuff, I think. And if we have time, maybe a little bit more. But basically, long story short is I want to get into... Uh, oh, check. We talked about our source doors. Uh, I want to get into some Gendistry. And I had already started making some of the stuff. And I figured, let's do this together. And I got to a point where I was going to have to make something new anyways that I've never made before. So I thought it was a good time to kind of take a look at that. So basically what it is, and that's actually what's in here because I was crafting and then I realized I didn't have something. I was looking at the Gendistry stuff and basically this is what I want for uh, my bees. It's going to speed the process up and I'm not going to have to do what I've been doing. And so I made this uh, with the Mutant Producer, right? And then I was in the process of making this Mutatron, but I need a genetics processor. And that gets made on an assembly table with some diamonds, a pulsating chipset, and some nether quartz. And the pulsating chipset is with redstone and uh, ender pearls. And I don't have a lot of ender pearls. I think I have like two left. Get in there. I think that's all I have is and I have two ender pearls. So I've, I was trying to time this so night would be up when we were done talking. Ha ha. And it is. So what I was thinking about doing is I'm going to take some blocks and do old school, um, you know, ender method in the, here, let me turn the freaking hover off, uh, in the desert and hope I can come across some freaking Endermen. So I'm gonna head out to the desert since it's really, really close by, and we are gonna hope to find some Endermen out here because, well, let's be honest, you find them out here quite often, but I don't wanna be messing with creepers and zombies and stuff too, so, and skeletons, of course. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna search around and try to find some Endermen because we need to get some Ender Pearls, and that's gonna lead to what I wanna do in a very uh, soon episode, and I wanna take a trip to the end and go ahead and finish off that stinking ender dragon. Ha ha, I see an enderman. There's too many mobs. Uh, if I can make him mad, come on. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. There you go. Come after me, baby. Come after me. Let me find a relatively open spot, like right over here. No mobbies are really close by. And let's do our old enderman tower here. Like so. And we will protect ourselves. And... You're still coming after me, and my burger's not going to help. He didn't come after me. Oh, furious zombie, you're just so annoying. Where's that other one at? There he is. All right. So I'm going to try to get myself... Oh, not the oil. The oil sucks. I, I guess I could fly out of it now, but... Yeah, you're going to get too big to come under here. Neener, neener. Yeah, I'm going to need some better weapons pretty soon, too. But where did that Enderman go? I know I pissed you off. I heard you. Let me turn my hover back on. So I'm going to be searching for some Endermen and go ahead and try to collect some Ender Pearls. And yes, work on that because I want to make some Enderium as well as we need to make some Eyes of Ender uh, so we can go find the Stronghold and all that stuff. So I'm going to do a search for Endermen and then uh, once that is complete. Oh, my hammer's broken. That's not good. Come on. So, yeah, we'll be back shortly. All right, we got one. It looks like he picked up, he brought, he's bringing me a present. Oh, he put it back down. Hey, don't knock me out of here. Don't knock me out. Is that, oh, he dropped more than one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How many did we get? Two? Two. That's awesome. Yes. So, we've got a couple pearls. 
And I'm like I said, I'm going to keep doing this. I just wanted to show you, actually. I, it took me a minute, but I finally found one. So we're going to continue to fight these endermen until I get at least, at least a stack. And then that way we can go uh, search for a stronghold probably in the next episode. But I want to get this gen industry stuff done. So we're going to work on that. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So the sun came up and I only ended up getting like four ender pearls. But that's okay. It's a good start. That's, that's really what it comes down to. It's a good start. And I can do a lot of that off camera in preparation for next episode, which I want to go to the end and see how quickly I can kill the Enderman or sorry, the Ender Dragon with as much, I don't know, cool weaponry that I can make at this moment. Because I mean, we're really not that high leveled. I mean, well, not that high leveled at all. A couple episodes in, uh, basically my best armor is mana armor. So actually, I don't know what the level of armor is on this thing, but uh, prop six, actually, okay, that's not too horrible with the Invar armor. But anyways, I need to make, what was the thing called? Um, it's like an assembly table or something like that. So I looked up a little bit. Of, okay, so it's the assembly table here. And then there's something else I'm gonna need too, but I'm looking at this thing first. Um, this is from BC Silicon. I don't know exactly what that is, but this seems actually, well, it's kind of pricey to make actually. I gotta, ooh, okay, so we gotta make a golden gear. All right. And then from the golden gear, we can make a diamond gear, which I think I should have a decent amount of diamonds left. Not a lot, but, and then we can make this assembly table. And then along with that, I believe I need some lasers. Uh, yes, these right here, lasers. All right, so let's see how many of these we can make. One, two, before I run out of diamonds or something. I'm thinking if I can make nine, that seems like a good number to start with. So we can do a three by three. All right, so basically this assembly table really well, huh, I might put the lasers on here for right now because I think this will reach. And then the lasers can get power straight from this thing for right now. This is just temporary. But basically what these are supposed to do is blast lasers into this table and make whatever we need to make. So if I give a little right click on this, it'll make that. Okay, cool. So back to Gendistry. And oh, not Jern industry, Gen industry. I need to make this, which is this thing, okay? And I need to make this to get that. So, okay, so I'm gonna need an Ender Pearl and a Redstone, okay? And Redstone, and, oh no, I got that. Ender Pearl, there we go. So let me grab one of these real quick. And let's see how this bad boy works. I don't know if you just put it in. Oh, and then you click on which one? Oh, okay. And it's not making it though. Is this not actually giving him power by being on there? Um, it's set to output. Let us get some cables real quick. Um, I should have some redstone left. I have no, I used all my redstone flux duct. What's this one? That's leadstone. This is hardened. Well, it's not going to matter because some of them aren't going to get it. Okay. Let us try to just put a little grid on this thing and see if this works. I really thought I could just put them on uh, the comparator thing because it has you know the ability to put out energy, but I guess you just need a, a cable to transfer the energy first. Uh, let me pick all these up. Let me put my hover back on, it's just a little bit easier. And, oh no, I'm gonna sail down because that's not gonna work, okay. Oh, I know why it didn't work. Man, I probably didn't have to do that. It's because I didn't, there we go. That's what I needed to do. It's okay. Ah ha ha, I see lasers now, okay. So we are now putting out enough juice. No, we're not, are we? Oh, this, this doesn't put out enough energy, I think. That's probably the problem. So that's gonna go really, really slow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, redstone flux duct real quick, and then I will come back because, well, we don't need to watch me make that. That just, yeah, we'll be back. All right, so I just got the flux duct finished, and now hopefully this works. I, I'm i being optimistic here. Oh, hey. Okay, just the blank side works. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So now I should get a whole bunch of blue lasers. Cool. 
and now that's actually going pretty quickly. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So as soon as this is done, then we will be able to make our uh, other chipset that we need to make, and then we can make the next thing. And my goal is to get the basic ones for Gendistry done today, and then that way I can start trying to make some cool bees. Because I with Gendistry, you don't really need to go the... Um, I mean, you can actually really easily, you but you don't need to... Hey, come here. You don't have to go the route of uh, making the Industrious and the Imperials or whatever. So I think that's a good thing. Um, okay, so I need to make you now, which is two diamonds and two quartz. And I, ho, 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 so lucky. I had three quartz left because I guess it takes more than three quartz to make the glass for the redstone. So that works out. Now, how many diamonds do I have? Four. I am getting low. All right, so diamonds, quartz, and these guys, and I can make this chip. And those seem to be working. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, and that's really, really fast. All right, cool. So we'll be able to make our next piece. If I have to make any more of these, I'm gonna have to go track down some diamonds and some quartz. So hopefully I don't have to make too many more. Actually, did it, take two? it took two quartz, so yeah. Um, Hopefully I don't need too many more of those, but I have a feeling I'm going to see that those again. All right, so I got you. Oops. So like that, everything else was already in there, and you go there. All right, cool. So then, then we got the Mutatron, and then I need well the advanced Mutatron. Okay, so I'm going to need two more of those and a piece of quartz. All right, everything else is really really simple to make. I'm going to go ahead and I have one of those. I need. To make another one so i'm going to need another ender pearl as well as another piece of redstone i'm going to go hunting for um some like visible diamonds in my quarries and hopefully i can find some there and i'm going to head to the nether really quick oops i didn't select it i'm going to head to the nether real quick and go get some quartz and then we'll be back to finish this uh mutatron thing so we'll be back okay so i've got most of it all right um, you are used to make, hey, get back here, you're, what are you doing? Why? Oh, that's, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong one. This is the one you're used to make. Okay. So I need some quartz, which I have on me. Um, two of those, I got that. All those, I got that. Oh, I need to make you. And I think I should, yeah, I, was like, I think I should have some extra pistons already. So, yeah, uh, Mutatron, where are you at? This one, advanced, there we go. Um, now I should have everything except for, what's going on the sides that's not there? Oh, it's these guys I just made, bink and bink. And then, there we go. And some quartz right there. All right, cool, so now we got the advanced Mutatron. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and mount these right here just so they have power, because these do take power to use. So I need some mutagen producer, I believe, and then this advanced mutatron. All right, so they're getting power. So this one will give me mutagen, um, and that's I can do that with bees. And then I can put bees in here to get specific traits, right? So, or not traits, I'm sorry, uh, that's that's a little further down the line, but at least what I can do is start making some of the big bees that I want, right? So I got, I've got this majestic bee and I've got a noble bee. So if I put you guys in here, oh, it's gotta be a princess. Oh, oh, so I gotta level up a princess, huh? Um, I don't think I have any princesses on me. Let me just grab all these guys because they need to go in here anyways. And I'll just put you up there. Okay, let us grab a princess and see if we can level one up real quick. Okay, because I have a cultivated princess, and I've got... Let me just get all you guys in. Come on. There we go. Give me my princess back. Okay, so I've got a cultivated princess. Where'd you go? Oh, you're still in the bag. Let me do this. Organize you. There you guys all are. Okay. Oh, I've got a majestic drone. Sweet. And I've got a majestic drone, or queen. And then I've got a cultivated, cultivated, noble, and diligent. Cool. This, this could be a good start here. But I need the mutagen. So let me grab a whole bunch of garbage bees real quick. Um, 
Let me grab all my... Oh, yeah, I've got tons of these ancient drones that I was getting. I don't know what's up with them, but I was getting these ancient drones. Is it you that goes in there? Um, you've got power. Hold on. What? Do don't the bees go in here? Or is it specific items give me mutagen? There we go. How do I make mutagen? Uh, redstone gives me 100 millibuckets. Is it yellow tone? Yeah. Let's... Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 64,000 right off the bat. Um, I don't need that string. So let's go ahead and pump up a whole bunch of mutagen. Go. Okay. Yeah, that's slow. Uh, what else makes more? Oh, uranium makes nine buckets. Um, the uranium block makes half a block. Interesting. How, 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 how do I make you from those? Okay, so how do I make these? In a thermal centrifuge. Interesting. Well, we'll we'll look into that. I'm gonna go ahead and let this mutagen build up, and then I gotta figure if I gotta pipe it over. Let me go ahead and grab some fluid duct real quick, and let me dump the stuff I don't need. Let me clear out my inventory here a little bit. And yes, there we go. Let's organize. R. There we go. Get, let's get organized and let me see some fluid ducts I would assume fluid ducts would have to work um, I guess I can use wooden no because I'm gonna need that let me just make some cheap ones I, do, I don't think these are uh, hot ones or anything like that so I think we should be good just doing this and this I hope once it makes some, it'll be a bucket's worth, so we'll see if that works. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead. Can I just put you in? I don't remember if it has to. Okay, it has to be the princess. So let me grab a noble and a majestic. There we go. Perfect. Ha! And there's my imperial queen pristine stock. But I can't make it yet because I don't have the mutagen in there. It's almost there. It's almost there. We've almost got this. I'm excited when we start doing stuff that's good. Now I've got to make a bee room or possibly make bees outside. I don't know. We'll see about that. Okay, mutagen went in. I want you. How much do you take? Like, what's the... Oh, 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 yes. I need to make those things. I don't think they're super expensive, but I still have to make them. These guys right here. It's glass and ooh, 16 for one diamond and some glass panes. Interesting. I have panes. I did make plenty of those because I kept using them for thumb craft. So I should be able to make these. All right. So let's go ahead and just use our last two current diamonds right there and plop those up there and click on you. Oh, and that's fast. Okay. So we've got our Imperial Bee. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then I want to make the industrious one, which is going to be a diligent with a um, unwary, which I think I still have some. Whoa, what happened? There we go. I think I still have some out here, which will be awesome if I do. I'm pretty sure I had a couple unwarys because I got them up on the wall. So let us see. Ooh, my jetpack's getting low. This thing kind of drains pretty quickly. All right, do I have any in here? Okay, I've got one. Cool. So then that will give us our industrious, right? And then I can start uh, working towards like the bigger apiary, I believe. And if not, if that's not the case, um, we can always get further into the gendistry stuff, which I think is going to be totally worthwhile regardless. So you go in there and um, you, right? And that gives me my industrious. Yes. yes, 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 And we will finally have our top two tier bees, which will be awesome. And hopefully they don't mutate and I don't lose them, but you know, stuff happens. But that way we can start getting our royal jelly and our pollen. And then we can, oh, what is this? Genetic waste. Okay. You're almost done. Oh, go. Good. Okay, cool. So you've got it. Ha ha. There it goes. And now we have our industrious bee. So we are taking a step in the right direction. We have a pristine industrious and a pristine, a pristine imperial. And that is good stuff right there. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is this is what it's all about right here. Just I mean, I'm all I, I'm all about, you know, using all these mods that I've never used before, trying new things. This is where the fun of a lot of these mod packs really comes from for me because I like I've never I've never done this before. Like this is all brand new. So you're going to do your thing. I'm going to go ahead and put you on auto cycle. You're going to do your thing over here. Get you guys out. What is that? A red bee? Oh yeah. The red ones. Oh, what's this? Regenerate. Do one of these bees have regeneration on them? I didn't check there. Or is it this plant? Oh, that's so cute. I get regen from this plant. This is like perfect for you to be right there. That's awesome. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and let those start their cycle and make sure there's nothing in this chest. Ah, ha, ha. And make sure there's nothing in this chest to get sucked into this. Yep, we're good. And we're good. Oh, no, get out of there, common. I don't want you in there. And we should have a whole bunch of royal jelly and also uh, the pollen, the industrial pollen or whatever it's called, really, really soon. And then I can start looking at doing the big apiary or uh alviary yeah this is the apiary the alviary and we can start looking into doing mutating trees and making some pretty trees for the area as well as start mass producing some other crazy bees i think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today i think that was a pretty productive episode we've got a couple of our genistry things finished off We've got this awesome assembly table, which I'm sure is going to make different stuff. And actually, I did take the time to go get a couple ender pearls. But now that I'm done recording, I am going to hand out and basically just stand out there and try to go get a lot of endermen. And actually, what I might do, this is going to be the next thing. This might be what I do. Uh, Safari, net, oh, but I need four ender pearls. Oh, and I don't have my gas here anymore. So I'm going to have to head to the nether and get a ghast here and one more ender pearl. And I'm going to catch myself an enderman and we might set up a grinder room. So we'll see. But anyways, until next time, guys, if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. It really will help me out. I am trying to do what I can to grow this channel. And with that being said, likes help people get, you know, get it to pop up in their suggested videos. And that would really, really be appreciated on my part. Also, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this and, uh, you enjoyed what you saw today. Uh, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It just lets you know when I post videos. And if you want to watch them, they're there for you. And other than that, guys, uh, if you've got comments for me or things to check out in this mod pack, please let me know because I'm, I love finding new things that I've never found before. It's just, it's so cool. Like that right there. That thing is so cool to me. So, so cool. But anyways, until next time, travelers, I am Slider Havoc. This is... Um, Infinity Evolved, and we are out of here.